Let's begin with an introduction. Pyruvate dehydrogenase complex deficiency, or PDCD, is a rare disorder of carbohydrate metabolism caused by a deficiency of one of three enzymes in the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. The age of onset and severity of disease depends on the activity level of the PDC enzymes. PDC deficiency affects both males and females. However, males are more likely to have severe forms of the disease than females. Moving right along, let's now talk about the pathophysiology. The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is responsible for converting pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme A during carbohydrate metabolism. Acetyl coenzyme A is necessary for citrate production. A deficiency in the enzymatic complex will limit citrate production. Since citrate is the first substrate in the citric acid cycle, the cycle cannot proceed and an energy deficit develops in the central nervous system, leading to neurologic dysfunction. A backup of substrates also develops. This backup includes lactate and pyruvate, and results in a lactic acidosis. But you may be asking yourself, well gee, how does this manifest in a clinical setting? Well, let's talk about that now. Patients with PDCD beginning prenatally or in infancy usually die in early childhood. Babies with PDC deficiency may have low scores measuring a baby's health after birth. These are the APGAR scores. A low birth weight is common. Some features that may be characteristic of PDC deficiency include a narrow head, a prominent forehead or frontal bossing, a wide nasal bridge, a long philtrum, and flared nostrils. However, these features are not present in all babies with PDC deficiency. Common symptoms of PDCD may initially be poor feeding, lethargy, and rapid breathing, or tachypnea, in an infant. Those who develop PDCD later in childhood may have mental retardation and other neurological symptoms, and usually survive into adulthood. Symptoms may include developmental delay, intermittent ataxia, poor muscle tone, abnormal eye movements, and seizures. In adults who are alcoholics, it is often exacerbated because of a thiamine deficiency, which is an important cofactor for the pyruvate dehydrogenase. The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex contains three enzymes identified as E1, E2, and E3. The E1 enzyme contains subunits identified as alpha and beta. The most common form of PDCD is caused by an abnormal gene in the E1 alpha subunit, which have an abnormality in the PDHA1 gene located on the X chromosome. Let's now move on to the diagnosis of PDCD. Biochemical abnormalities may vary from severe acidosis due to abnormally high levels of lactic acid appearing shortly after birth to a mildly elevated level, which usually follows a meal high in carbohydrates. In some patients, the elevation of blood lactate levels 
is seen only during the acute episodes and may have high levels of ammonia in the blood. This is known as hyperammonemia. Excretion of abnormally large amounts of the amino acid alanine, or alanineuria, may occur only during acute episodes. The treatment of PDCD is as follows. Some affected individuals respond to treatment with thiamine, or vitamin B1, carnitine, or lipoic acid. Thiamine may need to be given in high doses to be effective. A diet low in carbohydrates and high in fat, which is also known as a ketogenic diet, has been used to treat the symptoms of PDCD, but it is not always successful. Oral citrate is often used to treat acidosis. Genetic counseling is recommended for families of children with pyruvate dehydrogenase complex deficiency. This concludes our discussion of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex deficiency. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to your education. Until next time, see you then!